Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Narissa and welcome back to another video. This video is one that I love to film and a type of video that I love to watch. It's a meal prep video on the weekend and it basically is just to show you what I do on the weekends and to give you motivation to get some extra stuff done. That's what these meal prep videos do for me when I watch them. So jumping right into it, I have this salad spinner that I got the idea from Jen Chapin's channel. I'll link it below. She has a great channel. She does a lot of um, meal prep and day in the life type videos, but she uses a salad spinner for everything. So this is an um, OXO salad spinner that I filled with water and a little bit of vinegar to wash my produce. So I'm going to be washing a ton of produce this weekend. And then you see me slicing up some cheese. This is an eight ounce block of Gouda cheese. And then of course I saved myself a chunk there to snack on. And then this is Monterey. No, this is Colby Jack. An eight ounce block of Colby Jack. So I usually get two of these every couple weeks when I go grocery shopping and then I will slice it up and then my husband and I will snack on this for lunches and then also like an after work snack um, cheese and crackers or just cheese you know cheese is low carb so um, that is a really good option so I took my apples out of the vinegar water gave them a good rinse and now I'm using a super clean towel and making sure that the apples are really dry and then I'm gonna rinse it out and start again so this is the second batch of apples these are gala apples my husband prefers gala I prefer, prefer right now um, the jazz apples that are I, I believe they're kind of like the kids snacking apples but I have found them at Walmart and Aldi's both so they are sweet yet crunchy and crispy whereas I feel like the gala apples are a lot less flavorful in my opinion but our apple trees are just about ready to be harvested so I'm excited to eat my own apples instead of apples from the store alright so now I am just chopping up some romaine lettuce hearts and I'm going to roll this lemon up and see I need to sharpen my knife but roll this lemon and get the juice juices rolling so that I can wash my lettuce so I'm gonna do the same thing with this batch of apples rinse them off and get them super dry so that I can put them in the basket the fruit basket and they're ready to go everyone if you don't wash your produce you definitely should and once you start washing your produce and you see all of the gunk that comes off of it you will never go back trust me so instead of using vinegar I'm using um, fresh lemon juice here on the romaine lettuce that I've chopped up not only does this keep it more firm for longer but oftentimes I can will I or I will randomly taste a hint of um, lemon juice which is fine by me when I'm eating a salad so now I'm actually using the salad spinner for what it is meant for and spinning this lettuce dry so you can see I got a lot of water off of it now I'm going to prep three salads these salads this week are for my husband so I'm going to load them up with all kinds of veggies here so you can see I have some green peppers and then also some cucumbers so both of these vegetables are from the summer garden I love that so I'm gonna chop up my peppers here now how do you guys chop your peppers I do it differently every time this time I'm just um, slicing off the lobes and leaving the insides a lot of times I'll slice off the top and then sort of um, you know carve out the inside and then slice it but I'm saving the insides because the, my chickens love the insides of green peppers they love the seeds they're awfully picky chickens these days but green pepper insides are definitely um, one of their favorites so I'm going to load up each of these 
to-go containers or um, they're not to-go containers they're meal prep containers that I actually got on Amazon I'll see if I can find them and link them below if you're interested they're really cheap they're dishwasher safe microwave, microwave safe and they're just one compartment there so then I'm also going to rinse off or rinse up or clean up my Roma tomatoes not Roma tomatoes my cherry tomatoes and then I did have some from the garden um, and then also get my plums that I found at all these. I thought they looked really, really good. Get those soaking in some vinegar water. And I'm going to boil some eggs, so I'm just gonna fill up my pot with some hot water and get it ready to boil. And I'll show you how I do my hard boiled eggs here in a minute. So now I am going to make some homemade ranch dressing. I just get sick of regular old dressing from a bottle oftentimes and I will make something either homemade or semi homemade just to add a little interest to the salad dressing so I'm using this dry ranch seasoning to make um, some some ranch dressing and the recipe on the back of the box calls for mayonnaise and milk and the seasoning but I could not bring myself to use that much mayonnaise so I just use sour cream. And you can see it's a little watery. So I'm going to add a little bit more sour cream and then we'll be good to go. So this turned out really, really well, except I made like twice as much as I needed and um, had trouble using it all before it went bad. It probably, it lasted about a week. So I'm going to fill up some of these little disposable containers that I got on Amazon. And I don't always use disposable. I don't always use washable. I have both. It just depends on what mood I'm in at the moment. So you can see I filled up the salad containers, one each with the dressing. I also just put a small cucumber in each of the salads. And um, I didn't show, but show it on film, but I also put in some of the cherry tomatoes. All right, so I'm giving my plums a good rinse and then adding some more water and vinegar and adding in my strawberries to give them a nice soak. And then I'm get, get, get it. excuse me, then I'm going to get my plums nice and dry as well. I was so excited about these plums. They smelled so good and they looked so good, but to be honest with you, they weren't. They were bland, underripe, just not not what I was hoping for. So now I'm going to boil some eggs. These are going to be for Mike's salads as well. He wants lots of, lots of chopped egg. So what I do is I put them in boiling water and I boil them for 14 minutes. That's how I do my eggs. Um, they usually come out great. I have not tried hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. Let me know how you guys prefer to boil your eggs and do you have any, any fail proof methods that always come out perfectly. These usually do. 95% of the time if you put them into boiling water and boil them for 14 minutes and then put them in an ice bath but you know sometimes randomly for whatever reason it doesn't work out so now I'm going to get my strawberries chopped up I had two big boxes of strawberries I'm gonna get those chopped up so that we can have those throughout the week to snack on and my hard-boiled eggs are done so I'm gonna get a bowl with some ice and water and put my hard boiled eggs directly into the ice bath. Now these are homegrown chicken eggs <laughs> and um, sometimes my chickens do not get enough calcium and their shells are a little bit soft. So particularly the blue ones and um, I had some issues with these while when boiling them. You can see they split open. But it's a good thing I'm not using them for um, deviled eggs. I'm just using them for um, chopped egg. I apologize. Can you guys hear my rooster outside? I'm doing the voiceover and he can hear me and he's crowing. Usually when he can hear me he'll he'll <laughs> crow. He's telling me to get out there and give them a treat is I think is what he's doing. The windows are open. Nobody. I might have to shut the windows. But anyway, so I let the 
eggs sit in the um, ice bath until you know all the ice melts and then peel them up rinse them off and dry them off and then chop them up so so easy peasy And then I realized I forgot to add cheese to the salad. So I added a little handful handful of already shredded cheese um, on top of the lettuce. And then I'm going to add the egg. Had to make a little bit of space. But I wanted to mention too with the cucumber. I never chop my cucumber ahead unless it's the morning of because they just don't last well. So I always just leave it whole. And then if he wants to cut it up and put it to in his salad, he can. Or if he wants to just eat it whole, um, you know, as a snack, then he can do that too. So now I am going to get some of my chicken thighs into some freezer bags that I've just labeled. Um, I do have a food saver, but I just don't get it out unless I have more than this to, to store. So... I really should get better about that and, and use my food saver more often, but I'm going to get these chicken thighs bagged up. I'm going to do two or three, depending on the size of the thighs. Of course, they were all different into each bag, and then I saved a couple out for supper. So then I'm using this Mrs. Meyers Lilac Scent Multi-Surface Spray to get everything nice and clean after I just messed with all of that chicken. Um, I'll leave my, my referral link to Grove Collaborative down below. Everybody who signs up with Grove gets a referral link. It's, you know, I'm not special. And that is just a link to where if you do buy something from Grove the first time, then you get a huge, like, five-piece, seven-piece, I can't remember what it is, free gift set. Or maybe it's a $20 gift set. I don't know. You get a really good deal. I, I got a ton of Mrs. Meyers products. Pro products when I first signed up and now I'm hooked so <laughs> um, but anyway I'm making some taco meat here and I got that cooked up and prepped and ready to go so now I'm just showing you I got my cheese sliced up I got all of those strawberries sliced up and then three salads for Mike with all of the fixins inside with that semi homemade ranch dressing and lots of it left over you can see and then I did make um, one veggie bag here, and then I have two little extra cups for other veggie bags for me throughout the week. And then the taco meat. Taco meat is something that is so great to prep ahead of time because it lasts really well. It freezes well. Um, so, And then my plums. And, of course, the, the two batches of apples that I had gotten all cleaned up and dried and put away. So the last thing, no, this is not the last thing. The second to last thing that I wanted to meal prep this weekend was this remoulade sauce. We are going to have shrimp po' boys. And the sauce, the remoulade sauce, is something that I could easily make ahead of time. And it um, really doesn't take that much time to make. But, you know, the longer, some, sometimes when you make sauces, the longer they sit in the fridge, the better they are. So... You can see I added some real mayo, some beer mustard, some paprika, some Creole seasoning. This was definitely um, a must, I think, with this recipe, was that Creole seasoning. Um, some wasabi. Now, I completely forgot when I went to the grocery store that we did not have any horseradish. And I looked it up, and you could use wasabi in place of horseradish, because that's essentially what, what wasabi is, just with green food coloring. So I was hoping that it wasn't going to make this remoulade green, and it didn't. So that was awesome. Um, but in addition to that, then I'm going to add some garlic, some hot sauce. Uh, what else did I add? I think that's it and then give it a good stir and combine everything together. And this was so good. My husband absolutely loved this remoulade sauce. He was dipping everything in it and, and spreading it on everything. So it was definitely um, a hit. Now, I 
filmed this meal prep before I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes a couple weeks ago. So um, if any of you are wondering why I think I'm going to be eating shrimp po' boys and control my gestational diabetes, I I am not. Um, this was this was before I knew. So um, the next thing I am making is this um, instant pot meal prep breakfast that I got out of this book that I just showed you. It's an awesome book. Um, has a lot of great recipes and they're healthy recipes too. So I would definitely recommend buying this book. I believe I got it on Amazon. I'll link that below too. I believe you can get it as an ebook too. I'm not for sure, but um, so it is apple cinnamon steel cut oats. So I'm chopping up two apples here and I'm just going to add some butter to my instant pot and get that melted and then add those two apples that I just chopped into the instant pot and let them cook for just a few minutes and also I'm going to add uh, about I think it's a tablespoon of cinnamon to the apples and you want to talk about make the entire house smell amazing this was this was great it made me think of fall for sure so um, I'm just using the saute function on the instant pot here and then I'm going to add two cups I believe of my steel cut oats and um, then also half a cup of raisins I believe and give that a good stir and now that's it I'm going to put the lid on and pressure cook this for two minutes two minutes I don't know eight minutes <laughs> eight minutes and then it's going to be done so get it into a nice good stir and like I said um, oh the last step you got to add some sweet sweet sweetness to this and the recipe calls for maple syrup pure maple syrup but I didn't have any so I just added some honey and it was excellent look how good this looks oh my gosh you guys seriously so good now in the meantime here or this week I did find out that I um, was diagnosed with gestational diabetes and so I was like well I made you know this is really high in carbs but I made this and actually this is my blood sugar is fine with this as long as I don't eat too much these are giant portions I don't know what I was thinking but each one of these short square containers lasted two day two two breakfasts plus with my husband helping himself and then I um I'm going to add some chopped pecans to the top too and that just rounded this breakfast out and it is probably my favorite thing to eat right now it's so good the raisins give it a nice little sweetness um, that honey gives it some sweetness and I don't know I just I just love it and with, then with the pecans I've also made it with walnuts too and it's great so that's it you guys that's it for my meal prep for the weekend it set me up for a easier week that's for sure and I hope this video gives you some inspiration to do the same if you like these types of videos give me a thumbs up and if you don't if you'd rather see something else give me a thumbs down and give me some ideas in the comments also if you're new to my channel I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you can get notifications and stick around and hang out so um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video bye